This is a medium difficulty SQL question and it was asked in a Facebook interview. So um, let's quickly go through the statement. Uh, overall, what is overall friend acceptance rate by date? Uh, that's the question we have to answer. And your output should have the rate of acceptances by the date the request was sent order by the earliest date to latest. Assume that each friend request starts by a user sending that is user ID sender a friend request to another user that is user ID receiver that's logged in the table with action equal to send. If the request is accepted, the table logs action accepted. If the request is not accepted, no record of action equal to accepted is logged. And uh, the table of concern is this one. It's just a single table that we are having to deal with here. So this is a table name and the columns, user ID sender, user ID receiver, date and action. And um, uh, some of the approach hint they have given. Assume that each friend request starts by a user sending a friend request that's logged in the table with action equal to send. When a friend request is accepted, a notification is sent to the user that sent the original friend request and action equal to accepted. This also means that the original user ID sender is now logged as user ID accepted and vice versa for the original receiver. You will need to filter your tables using this logic. And therefore the same, create two tables using sub queries where you are filtering out sent and accepted rows. Join the two tables using a left join and the acceptance rate calculated should be number of acceptance by number of sent request. Yeah, so this is the key uh, ratio that we need to calculate and group by the friend request sent, sent date and order by description. All right, and now I'm going to do my initial approach first to write the whole query and then I will explain. So here in the solution, we first create two common table expression A and B right here. And uh, common table expressions are temporary result sets that can be referenced within a select, insert, update or delete statement. They make the query easier to read and understand. And uh, the city A, uh, this city selects all records from the FB friend request table where the action is accepted and B is the same only here all the action are sent because we can see there are only two options in this column. And uh, then perform a right join on cities A and cities B, uh, what I'm doing here. And the right join returns all records from the right table, that is B here, and the matched records from the left table, which is A here. If no match is found, null values are returned for left table columns. And the join is performed on the condition that uh, a dot user id sender is equal to b dot user id sender, and also a dot user id receiver is equal to b dot user id receiver. And uh, this is to ensure that we only count accepted friend requests that match the sent request. And after joining uh, this table, the final thing that we have to count is just this ratio. So in this ratio, we, we calculate the acceptance rate by dividing the count of accepted friend request by the count of sent friend request. And we use the cast function to convert the integer count of accepted friend request to a float type, ensuring that the division result is also a float. And finally, we group the results by the date the friend request was sent, that is b.date. 
this will give the friend acceptance rate for each date finally uh, the query returns the date column and the calculated acceptance rate column and just another basic note here that uh, i'm calculating the join here but calculating the acceptance rate here so how do i know that the right join was made before calculating the acceptance rate well this is because uh, the execution order of sql queries because uh, in an SQL query, the order of operations executed is not the same as the order in which they appear in the query. SQL does not read clauses from top to bottom as written on the query. Rather, it follows a particular rule of uh, execution order priority. And in that priority, we uh, probably know that that it follows this priority so the very first thing it will execute is a form or join statement then where group by having select order by all right and this time i will solve it with another option and this time without using any join operation As you can see that in this case as well i start with a cte common table expression uh, right here and um, the mean mean this expression mean date as date uh, this function is used here to get the earliest date for each unique combination of user id sender and user id receiver and uh, these two expressions some case when action equal to accepted and action action equal to sent so this counts the number of accepted friend requests for each pair of users and also the count of uh, sent friend request for each pair of users. And um, this statement, the important thing right here is that I'm doing a group by uh, one, two. What does it mean? So this statement uh, group by groups the result set by the first and second column of the select statement and i'm talking about this select statement within my cte so that means that this one and two are the first two columns which are user id sender and user id receiver so this grouping is uh, necessary because we want to count the number of sent and accepted friend request for each unique combination of sender and receiver by grouping the result set using these columns we can ensure that each unique combination is treated as a separate group and the sum function in the subsequent select statement is calculated for each group independently and actually the whole purpose of these uh, cte common table expression is to summarize the data by calculating the count of accepted and sent actions for each combination of user id sender and user id receiver and the mean date function right here is used to select the earliest date of the of the action 
the city group uh, groups the da data by user id sender and user id receiver this is necessary because each sender receiver pair can have multiple actions so you want to find the count of accepted and sent actions for each pair so you need to group group by both user id sender and user id receiver if i do not do this grouping that is without this uh, group by uh, right here the sum function would calculate the total number of sent and accepted request across all rows in the table which would not be the desired result and the rest of the query is uh, just very simple once your uh, this uh, common table expression is completely built you just uh, return uh, the required two things which is your date and the acceptance rate which is count of accepted by count of sent and uh, of course uh, finally you need to do a group by by date here because the result wants uh, in that way and finally just one very basic question that may come to uh, your mind that to arrive at the solution why can we not uh, just calculate the total number of sent and accepted request across all rows in the table well the answer is that you can definitely calculate the total number of sent and accepted request across all rows in the table but this would give you the overall friend acceptance rate across all dates not the rate per date as requested in the problem statement